Outside, next to the Crossman graves, before the Priory, is the base of a Celtic cross, known to generations of islanders as the Petting Stone, which island brides jump over after making their wedding vows in church. They are sent, these hopeful couples, to a day of celebration and the day-by-day -day promise of married life. Their friends, neighbours and family bear witness, and so does this place. Nowadays, for most of the island folk, the church is a place for send-offs and of a deep sense of continuity. This is the sending place for many an island funeral. The seats in the pews fill up as we come to remember, support the morning, and know one day we will be walking behind that coffin or carried from here. The Fennec Lawson statue, The Journey, near the door, depicts Cuthbert being carried by designated companions. But his body would be taken here and there for many years before being laid to rest in Durham. Our loved ones' bodies journey mostly to the graveyard surrounding the church, and the names on the stones are familiar in a place where everyone knows each other, and names live on in family and often recounted stories. In November, a small company leaves from the church to lay wreaths at the war memorial at the Huff. This is a place of prayer. The church is open every day for early prayers, communion, prayers again at 5.30. Beyond this pattern of silence, psalms and Eucharist, any day, Island folk, pilgrims and visitors come here, become quiet, maybe light a candle. Almost all will sit, breathe in for a few moments and pray in their own way. This is a place where many come who never go to church. At Easter there are pilgrims with Northern Cross who have walked for a whole week carrying large wooden crosses together sleeping in village halls, battling with wonderful or lousy weather, and offering their experiences of the week, the past year, or all their life to God in good faith, or in some cases no faith at all. Yet somehow they come, and the crosses they carried across the sands on Friday are now decorated, dressed with fresh flowers, as from behind the altar through the church held high on pilgrim shoulders to the singing of no more we doubt the glorious prince of life they burst out through the door the service has struggled to contain us comfortably at the sign of peace and at communion warmth overcomes formality even small children seem able to relax yet much of it seems long and crowded disconnected from our lives we miss the undistracted quiet of the empty space. We prefer to be outside or by the open door. Suddenly, we meet someone else's searching eyes or spot a familiar face. Church may not be the heart's resting place, but today, as pilgrims, we can belong.